joke had everything. Oh, man, I've never <laughs> laughed that hard before, Ooh. ever. Yeah. Uh. Oh. oh, hey, y'all. It's Weekly Wonder, Season 2, Episode 2. Thank you for watching. It's Tyler. Hi, I'm Joey. It's Joey. We're really excited about today. What are we doing today, Joey? I'm really glad you asked, Tyler. So today, uh, we're actually going to be building on something we practiced last season. Y'all may remember we had the sound map. Today, we're going to be doing mm -hmm. an attention map. Ooh. So um, it's going to be a little bit different. In addition to any sounds that we notice, we're also going to pay attention to things that we see, maybe changes in wind or temperature. Um, so the things going on outside us, but also we're going to be paying attention to what happens inside us as well. So that could be um, a thought that you have while you're, while you're observing. It could be if you get reminded of something. It could even be um, if you notice that your uh, stomach is gurgling a little bit. You can map that as well. So we're we'll mapping what's going on outside of us as well as what's going on inside of us. Let's do it. All right, let's talk about materials. As always, you're going to need yourself a journal. Boom. And along with that, you're going to need something to write with. Ha! Finally, make sure you have a sense of wonder at your surroundings. Check. All right, let's get out there and have some fun. We just did our attention map. How did it go? It went really well, yeah. I thought. Yeah, I had a really good time. So on, on one side, I drew a picture of me uh, with a big old thought bubble that <laughs> took up half the page. And on the other side was kind of the map of where I was sitting. And then whenever um, I noticed a thing, like with either, either saw something or heard something, I would mark that on the map. And then I drew these little icons to like show whether it was a sound, um, so like I would draw like a little sound waves if it was a sound, if it's something I saw, I drew a little eyeball on top of it. And then when I felt something, I drew a little hand because like a oh, touch. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I like, yeah, I like how you use the symbols. Organize mine a little bit too, but I use numbers instead. Oh, really? So I, after my first few thoughts, I wanted to kind of keep track of what order they were going in. Oh, cool. So the first one, I number number one. Right off the bat, I noticed there was like a wind that came in from uh, like on my back. Number two, I heard some birds chirping. Number three, I saw the council house. And then I was thinking about the council house and all the memories of the council house. A lot of happy thoughts. Yeah. And then it went on from there. I had about ten different things I recorded. Yeah. What else did you write down? I also noticed at one point... So I felt wind on the back of my neck, and then that made me think it's starting to get cold. Yes. Then that gave me another thought, which was when is spring going to start, like for uh. real, for real. And so I wrote that down and drew a line from it's getting cold to when, when does spring start, because that thought wow. made another thought. We had the, th the same thought. We what? Had the same thought. When will it spring? Nice. And then my sixth thought was what is Joey thinking? So we were thinking at one point the same thing. Whoa. Maybe not at the same time. I like to believe that it was at the same, exact time. same time. We were like, yeah. what's going to happen with spring? We had uh, complimentary brain waves. At some point in there, I got a little bored. So I wrote down I'm bored. Yeah, I think I got bored at one point too. And that's when I kind of laid down and I put down my journal. And then I had more thoughts come up. You know, more things were going in the mind. So then I got back up. I wrote down a couple more things in my journal on my map. So try that out. If you, if you get bored, take a break, put away the journal, and see what pops up in your mind. My journal is different than Joey's journal. So there's different ways to do this. You know, whatever you think is going to work out for you. Yeah, maybe you come up with something even cooler than what we got. So that'd be awesome. All right, y'all. It's your turn now. Get on out there, make sure you have your journal, and see what exactly catches your eye. You can send us your attention map at weeklywonder at gsmit.org. Also, don't forget, 
Next Tuesday, we'll be hosting our Facebook live event, Tremont Tuesday. So be sure to tune in for that and have a whole lot of fun. Stay safe, y'all. What is Joey thinking?